Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we actually have this thing that we ended up building quite a while ago, actually. Uh, this was our rocket artillery truck. Obviously, I've taken the rocket artillery off the back, but today we're going to be building some other sort of cannon uh, for the back side of this thing in order to try and win a battle. So let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? Let's do this. Alright, so something that I think we should change pretty much straight away is the bottom part of this. We're going to go to edges, we're going to go ahead and split this, and at the back, we're actually going to go ahead and push these guys backwards a little bit. Because uh, otherwise it just looks a little bit weird, uh, the way that it was, so yeah, I think that makes sense to do. Another thing that I'd really like to do as well is actually extend this and then push it inwards, um, just to make this bit look a tiny bit nicer, because I think it does. And finally, with the back piece, I actually want to move these guys down and add one of these guys to each side of this. So one there, and also one around there. There we go, so that's like a protector for the lights, and hopefully that works out. I think it does. Alright, so what we're going to do now is actually move this guy forwards to around here. Uh, we're going to build a very uh, circular base onto this, and then I think what we're going to go with is like an AA gun on the back. What is that going to look like? I have no idea, but let's see. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. Oh, keep telling Alright guys, so I don't know how this is quite going to go, but uh, we've gone ahead and made a circle. We're going to go ahead and smooth that off quite a bit, and I don't know, let's go ahead and come up with some sort of idea uh, as to how to make this work a little bit nicer. So we're going to split it probably like twice. Um, maybe, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and split that again. There we go. Awesome. And I think that gives us enough room question mark uh we're gonna go ahead and split this as well there we go awesome hopefully we can do that on this side too epic there we go uh and that doesn't look terrible so what i think we do is we grab three of those uh i don't know if this is gonna quite work out but sure let's go around the sides in fact don't take that piece there we go go fully around the edge and all the way around to around here where we are gonna take in two of those guys as well maybe even three Probably just two? Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no two. There we go. Uh, and we go ahead and extend this upwards. There we go, which does it on both sides, which is awesome. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab these guys. Yes, and we're going to extend those outwards. Oh, I need to grab an extra one there. There we go, grab those. Oh, I guess we should do this one too. Hey, there we go, nicely done. We'll bring those out to there. And honestly, I think that looks pretty good. There's going to be a little bit of an area where we can have people stand, and that's okay. Alright, good. Yes, that is looking fantastic all the way around. Um, it is worth saying, I don't know in my head how this is going to look, but we're going to try anyway. Okay, so we got this. Uh, let's go ahead and actually go to the sides now, uh, including like each of these. There we go. And those guys right there. And even this one and this one, I would assume. Uh, now, what I was going to go for was we were actually going to go ahead and grab... You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it the way that I thought I was going to do it in the first place. Um, just because I feel like I should. So, yes. We're going to go ahead and grab all of these all the way around. Which, there is quite a lot of them to grab, but that's okay. Here we go. Ah, no, I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. You accidentally grab something else on a different part of the vehicle, and it's just like, yeah, you picked this, didn't you? Like, no, I picked all of those other pieces. Anyway, we're going to extend this guy upwards like so. Bit weird, I know. We're then going to go ahead and do something like this. Yes. And like this. So we turn it into some sort of weird soup bowl. Um, and then, I don't know, I'm going to extend it up from there. So we're going to do this. Type of dealio. There we go. Bring that guy upwards quite a bit like so. <laughs> this looks weird. It looks like a bowl. Which, you know, it is. It is a bowl. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and extend these guys into there. Just a little bit. There we go. So yeah, we've added a bowl to the back end. That looks weird. It looks too weird. Anyway, uh, I guess this is the bit where people would sit. So let's go ahead and just do this across the middle. 
There we go. A uh, bit weird, but also fine. Uh, we will angle it like so, so it doesn't look so weird. And honestly, that's okay. What I want to do from there is actually go to this piece. Grab these guys right here. Uh, da -da -da -da. And actually, no, grab the center. There we go, like all of those. And then grab this piece, I think, and that piece. And we are going to extend all of these guys that I have currently got selected upwards. Okay. Bam. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting in my, in my head uh, as to what this was going to look like. But sure, we're going to roll with it. Bam. Knock those all backwards like so. So far, so... I don't know. Let's go with interesting. Let's go and extend these guys upwards again. Going to go ahead and drop these guys backwards just a little bit. And then what I want to do is actually put a roof on this. I say a roof. I mean, kind of a roof. All right, so grab those ones. Grab these ones right here. There we go. Extend all of these. Yes. Bring them in. There we go. Somewhat like this. Yes. Um, sure. I mean, it's weird. It is. But I think we can get away with this. All right, so grab those and do that. There we go. It's got a roof. It actually has a roof, kind of. All right, cool. Grab... Oh, I can't even get in there. Grab this guy and this guy and do this. Grab this one and this one. And I guess this one and this one as well. And do something like this. There we go, I think. There we go, I think. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Okay, cool. Bring it upwards. And slide it backwards. Okay, this is the ugliest thing I've ever made in my life. Um, maybe. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and shove those two together. Shove those two together. And these two together. And I guess this one needs to go into there as well. There we go, good. And then finally, uh, that one and that one. Bosh. Okay, right. This is very weird, but at the same time, I think I'm sort of okay with it. <laughs> for some reason. Alright, so what I'm going to do from there is actually extend this guy this way. There we go. Straight across to the center. Uh, and I'm going to bring it forwards just like this. Okay, weird, but sort of fine. Going to drag this guy upwards. Oh, never mind. I'm going to drag... I can't even select that. There we go. That bit upwards, slightly sideways, and this way. And there we go. Is it weird? Yes, it is. Is it going to work? Maybe. Alright, so let's go to firepower real quick. Go to mantlets, yes. Uh, bring these guys down in size and attach them onto there. We're then going to make them 37mm guns, which is not as big as you'd expect, I don't think, anyway. So 37mm, there we go. Their propellant length is going to be about 500mm. Same with this one, 500 Excellent. And then we're going to have to make the size of the barrel fit that. So we're going to go with this. An extra 0.24 on the end. Copy this. Put it onto there. All right, extend it. 0.24. Bam. There we go. Good. And then what I want to do is grab that again. One of these. And shove it directly underneath. So we have four of them. I mean, it looks weird. Yes. But I think this will work. Um, the way that I sort of wanted it to. Which is it's kind of cool. Um, one thing that I do want to actually look at is what if I do this? So it's not quite as round as it was. I think that's okay. <laughs> it's it's weird looking. It's like an egg cup uh, with a gun on the top. But maybe that's okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is go to crew. Yes. Go to viewports. And I'm going to put a gunner's sight directly in the center of this. And now we should be able to at least shoot one of the guns. We can't. But that's because we don't have enough loaders. So... Oh, we do have enough loaders. Wait, why do we have so many load? Why do we have so many people in this thing? Oh, it's because of how I built it before. Don't worry about it. Add another guy. He is going to be a loader. There we go. The gunner is going to shoot all of the cannons. So let's go ahead and select all of those. And then we're going to add some ammunition. And this is hopefully going to shoot. Maybe. <laughs> it's hopefully going to shoot. Maybe. All right. Shove that in there. Bring it forwards. Bring it upwards slightly. Go. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. So, let's go to each gun and give it a little bit of a delay. And then we could go from there. 
Uh, so the delay on this gun is going to be zero. This gun is going to be 0.25. Sure. And then we'll go to the other side, and that one's going to be 0 0.5. And then this one is obviously going to be 0 0.75. I don't think that quite works, but it will work in a volley, so I guess that's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and aim. And fire! 3, 2, 1. I actually kind of like the delay in between. That's kind of cool. So it's not constantly firing. It's just firing a little bit at a time. That's kind of sick. Yeah, I like that. All right, so uh, what we got to do now is actually go to compartments. There we go. Basket space of this is going to go all the way up so we can actually fit all the people in. Uh, and we're going to have to make this thing be able to turn around because I want that to happen. So how do I do that? Traverse, torque, increase the torque massively. There you go. Um, and now it can turn quite quickly, I guess. Time to max speed. Two seconds. There we go. So it should be able to turn quite quite fast now. It doesn't seem very dangerous. Although, no, actually, it totally is. It totally is. Uh, right, okay, so. Uh, does this even have armor? No. The, the entire trick itself doesn't actually have any armor. So the turret is also going to have no armor. Let's go ahead and get it a star. Here we go, one of these. It's just going to go on the side right there like that. And we're going to go ahead and change the main color of this to something else. It can't stay the way that it was anyway. So how about we go with something like this? There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, I mean, it's weird, but I think we should take this into a battle and see how it actually does. Also, I'm totally thinking mid-war instead, and I'm also sort of thinking that maybe uh, this should have some armor. So let's go ahead and select all of it. Uh, get rid of, like, the back, side, and the bottom. We don't need to select the bottom, no. None of the bottom, actually. There we go. None of this. None of this. And sort of, like, none of that either. I might not even do the sides. Is that weird? Might be a little bit weird. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. There we go. Grab this one. And these two. Get rid of this piece. Oh, I can't even grab it. That's fine, though. Uh, and actually get rid of the back of the truck as well. Uh, if possible. I mean, it's hard to even see what's going on here, but... There. I think that's good. Oh, and the roof. I don't really need much on the roof, either. So let's get rid of most of that on the roof. There we go. And I think we'll just go with that. So we're going to have like 125 mil of armor around there. Then the turret itself, only on the front. Sort of, I guess. I can't actually grab that little tiny slither right there. There we go. Um, on the front is going to have armor too. So if we can, we're going to go around here. Grab each of those guys and this bit. Um, including the top piece, because we might get shot there. There we go. And a little bit on the sides and a little bit around here. So we're going to give this a little bit of armor as well. These little tiny pieces right here are an issue. They are a bit of an issue. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and send this up uh, to 95. There we go. Are we ready to fight? Maybe. Okay, so I actually want to add a little bit more detail to this uh, truck itself. So we're going to go ahead and shove these two massive, massive containers on the back right here like this. I am going to go ahead and get rid of these because I don't think they're necessary. And we're going to shove them out there. Um, what else can we do? I guess we could do some little ones in the center as well. So let's go ahead and put one there and one above it, just like that. And then I also want to go through... And maybe add some, like, walls to the sides. Kind of like this, I guess. So that goes on there. I might actually extend it to be the entire thing. I don't think we can, though. But yeah, if we put that, like, there, that might look okay. I think it does. And we're also just going to go ahead and add some things like these ones. Um, again, sort of because we can. So that's going to go there and there. We're going to do another one behind it and another one behind that one. And there we go. Alright, cool. Let's go into a battle. 
Scenarios, yes. Uh, Mid-war is what we're doing. Uh, but we're going to do it on this map instead, because, you know, I kind of enjoy this map more. So, let's just get in and start driving and see what kind of damage we can do with this. I don't know how much damage we will be able to do. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I thought that might happen. All of my trucks have actually just destroyed themselves because, uh, well, yes, they've all tried to fire straight forwards and clearly... That doesn't work out. <laughs> You've got to turn sideways in order to fire. Alright, so here we are. We are sideways onto the enemy. There we go. Let's see if I can do one versus however many are going to come at me. <laughs> come on, keep firing. I don't know if I've got enough rounds for this with one tank. Alright, I think he's dead. Okay, I think he's dead too. Who just shot me? You. Okay. How many rounds do I have left? 68. Alright, I might have enough rounds for this. I don't know whether I can get through this guy's armor. But we're gonna keep trying. Okay, I blew up his fuel tank. Come on! I've set him on fire. He's dead, okay. I am tanking rounds as well, by the way. We have taken so many hits from whoever's shooting me from over here. That guy. Okay, I'm driving in. We're going to get a little bit closer. Alright, so unfortunately they are also getting closer. There's a guy actually down there. Alright, we blew him up straight away. That's good. There's a guy right here. I think I might have just been tracked. I think I've just been tracked. That's not good. Take out the little tanks first because we can't actually kill them. I don't think I can get through the armor on the big guys. So that might need changing slightly. Have I been tracked? Yeah, I have. I have been tracked. There's not much I can do now. There is not much I can do. Okay, right. We need to do something else. I've got an idea. So, we need to go to compartments. We need to go to this guy. We need to put some constraints on it so that we can't actually aim forwards. I can't see where the circle is. Uh, where is that? Okay, so max is 180, min is... Okay, so we actually need this to be like that, there we go, and then this to be 120. Okay, but then we need to spin the entire thing around. So that that is the case. Alright, go again. Yeah, so now we shouldn't be able to actually shoot our own vehicle. You have to aim sideways in order to shoot. Again, though, I don't know if the AI is going to be able to do this. I'm not sure. And also, we need to upgrade the guns. So, let's go to the guns themselves. Here we go. Firepower. We are going to make these bigger. Um, actually, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and make them stronger. 750. There we go. Nice. 750 on that one. Alright, we need to do the same on this one. 750. Excellent. And then we're going to try and make the guns longer. So there we go. Up to 0.81. Copy that into here. Uh, bam, there we go. Good. Go ahead and get rid of the armor. And... Ooh. I think we're going to need to get mobility. Is there already too much fuel? There is. So drop this down to like 75 liters of fuel instead. And now we're good to go again. Alright, hopefully this works out. Also, I guess we could give it some more ammunition too. Uh, some more fuel can be in the case, uh, installed in there in, in case. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and give it some more rounds. So let's go with this. And we will put it right there like that, kind of. And then if we can shove it in. It still says it's outside. It's telling me it's outside. There we go. Right, go again. Let's go. Oh, this is sick. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually plow forwards as far as I can with this tank. There are going to be 12 enemies, but that's okay. Um, but what's actually going to happen is we're going to get very far forward. We'll then turn sideways, and this will be my distraction tank. To hopefully allow those guys to get a little bit closer as well. Unfortunately, I think one of my guys isn't moving, but we'll see. All right, I've been shot already. Alright. Okay. 
I think we might be able to get through their armor this time. Possibly. Not entirely sure, though. As long as they're side on to me like this guy is. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We might not be able to. We might actually not be able to get... Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, one's through. And I think that was his frontal armor, too. So I'm just going to continuously shoot this guy in the front. Until hopefully he dies. There we go. Nice. Guy right here as well. Nice. All right, cool. We're going to go around the side. And hopefully shoot them a little bit more. The problem with the AI being on my team is that they... They like to turn around, and that's always an issue. But we're going to go in again. That guy is actually shooting back for once. Brilliant. And we're going to shoot back too. So we're going to get up here. We're going to turn slightly sideways so we can start shooting. And we're going to pop off. That, that guy up there is already getting shot a lot. But I'm going to join in. Alright, I think he's dead. Excellent. Turn sideways. we got seven tanks remaining that we have to kill. Oh, he's tanking a lot, he's dead. Alright, cool, move on to the next one. So, I guess there's a vulnerability in this tank, and that is... Oh, wait, we've lost... We've lost a loader. But the vulnerability is if we lose tracks, and we aren't facing, like, sort of away, we can't kill them. Which isn't very good. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with this tank. Let's go. Also, side note, we haven't actually lost a tank yet. And there is, uh, there's three enemies left, and there was only four of us to begin with. And that guy is really going for it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go round here. Turn slightly sideways so we can shoot at him. Nice, we set him on fire. He's dead. Excellent. And now we just gotta find the last one. I don't know where the last one's gonna be. Probably hiding somewhere stupid. But let's just drive through the trees. Here we go, excellent. Yes, all the trees are falling down, very good. Um, Alright, where's the last guy? I think that's him over there, it must be. It, it has to be, right? First shot, I actually set him on fire. There we go, victory, nice. So our little gun did actually work out on the back of this thing. Uh, I really like this tank design, to be honest, or the truck design, I think it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think I am actually going to go ahead and leave this one here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below if you guys can think of any other sort of gun type that can go on the back of this thing. Uh, let me know that as well. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one, goodbye.